In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to upload data to MySQL database in PHP. So here you can see I have home.php over here and we have some single HTML port. So right now, first of all, we are going to create a form in order to upload data to the database table. So here, let me just mention an H2 tag and I am going to say upload data to database in PHP. So right now we are going to create a form but before that let me just open this in the browser this home.php and this home.php is inside my PHP tutorial. So let me just go to my browser and I am going to say local localhost my PHP tutorial home.php if you know this in there there you can see upload data to database in PHP. So here we are going to create some if fin let's say username email and password and the submit part of so let's go back to our code and here I'm going to say let's just have a div in this div we are going to have a form and in this form we are going to have some input field so let me mention another div here in this div we are going to have a level let's say level will be user n for this level we need to have an input field so the input type will be text you need to give a name let's the name will be user name so let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it two times. So this one will be email. So let's check here. Email and the type will be email as well. And this one will be password. So let me just say here password and the type will be password as well. So let's say here password. So right now we need to have the submit button. So here for submit button there is no need to have a level. So the for submit the input type will be submit and for this submit button we need to give it a name. Let's say the name will be register and we'll also give a value. Hello will be register as well. If we now save this, then refresh here, there you can see we have some input field here. So let me just add a simple design here. I mean let's just have some space. So for it in order to have some space we need to use the attack so let me just copy this and i'll paste it after each div if we now set okay let me just open it like this then refresh there you can see and let me just add on board design here for the level so we set the head section I'm going to say here style and in the style we will write it CSS for the level so let me just say here level then the second bracket uh, name is this all this tag okay so let me just say here with it would be 250px and we also need to say here display it will be lock save it then refresh and there you go so right now uh, we want to upload the data to the database table. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to create a database. So make sure that your that is running Apache or MySQL. After that, go to this login, go to this link. Then here you can see we have a new option. Let me just zoom in. Here you can see we have a new option. So just click on new. Then you need to give your database name. Let's say our database name will be PHP tutorial after that you need to click on this create button so i click on create and there you can see a database is created so the first thing we need to do is that we need to connect this database to our older php this one so for it what we are going to do is that we will go at the top of our home.php and we are going to say here php opening then php closing so inside this, we are going to connect our database and we need to keep it inside a variable. Let's say dollar pawn equal to you. We are going to say my SQLI underscore connect this on. And inside this, first of all, we are going to say we'll give to double position. Then we we'll say our local post. Then we we'll give a comma. Then we are going to give that database username. So by default, that username is root and then we need to keep the password by default the password is null then at the end we need to give our database clip and here you can see our database name is php tutorial so i'll just copy this 
and paste it here. Make sure that you write this properly. So once you write this, it means we are connected to the database. And if you want to check it, what you can do is that you can give a if condition. And here, if you just say dollar com, uh, which is a variable, after connecting the database, we just keep it in the con variable. So here, if we say echo, I am connected. If we now set this, then if we refresh here, there you can see it says I am connected. It means we are able to successfully connect to the database. So we are connected to the database. So right now what we need to do is that we need to upload those data or those input field data to a table. So first of all, we will create some table or create a table in this database. So in order to create the table, first of all, just click on your database and then you will see this table name option. So let's say our table name will be students, S-T-U-D, students. Just add a S at the end and then click on create. So here uh, we are going to have some input field, four input fields. So let's say the first one will be ID, this one will be name, this one will be email, and this one will be password. So for the ID, the type will be integer, let's add a length, let's say it will be 50, and we want the ID to be primary. So for it, let me just go on the right side a little bit. And here you will see this optional I. AI. AI means auto increment. If you now just click on this or check this, then you can see it become primary key. So after this, we are going to make the name Parker. Email will be Parker as well. Password will be Parker. And let's just say their default length will be 50. So we are done. And uh, there is one more thing you can do is that if you want to allow null value, you can do it as well. You can just check those on by all. Okay, so right now we need to click on this save button. Here you can see we have the save button here. Just click on save, and there you can see a table is created. So right now, if we just click on this students option or student table, you will see something like this. Here you can see ID, name, email, and password. So right now, we are going to input some data from the input field to our chart. So for it, let's go back to the code. And first of all, what we need to do is that here you can see we mention a form. So inside this form, we are going to say here action, then we we'll say here method. So the method will be post. Just keep everything capital. And in the action, we'll just give hash here. It means we're going to write the PHP code in order to upload it to our database in this folder PHP file. So let's go at the top. And here you can see we have given the PHP tag opening and closing there. So let me just show this if condition from there because this is not necessary. So right now here first of all we are going to give a if condition. If then to first bracket that will say here is set. So here inside this to first bracket we are going to set dollar underscore post. This all. And make sure that this dollar underscore post is capital. Then here we are going to mention the subject portal name. So if we just go down, here you can see the name for the subject button is register. So I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it over here. So what we are checking is that we will upload the data to the database only when someone click on this subject button. So inside this if condition, we are going to mention the subject button name. Then we'll give to second bracket. And after this, we're going to declare some variable to get the input field hello here. So let me just declare a variable, let's say dollar nail. You can declare the variable name anything you want. So we'll just say that dollar name equal to we'll say dollar underscore post. Make sure to keep it capital. And inside this variable, there you can see inside this two single position, what we need to do is that we need to keep this username. I mean keep that name. Here you can see for the input type text for username, the name is username. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. And in it with a semicolon. So after this, let me just copy this and paste it two times. So we have two more input fields. So here I'm going to say email and let's say this one would be let's only say pass. 
So for email, the name is email. There you can see, and for password, the name is password. So here, are you going to say email, and here it will be password. So this is just a variable, and this name will come from the input field. Whatever you just mentioned in the name. Okay. So after this, what we are going to do is that we are going to declare a variable. Let's say dollar SQL equal to we are going to write a SQL query. So we'll give to double quotation. Then we'll say here insert into after that we need to mention our table name and our table name is students. You need to write it exactly you write in the database. Okay. So insert into students. Then we give to first bracket and in the student table, we have the name field, event field and password field. So we are going to mention those. So here I am going to say name, comma, email, comma, password. After that, for those fields, we are going to upload some handles. So we need to say here handles, then do first bracket like this. So inside these two first bracket, we are going to mention this dollar name, email, and password. So here we can see we first write here name. So we need to copy this variable from here, dollar name. And first of all, we are going to keep to single position, not double position, single position. And we say dollar name, they will give a comma. After name, we have email. So let me just comma that, copy that email. Then paste it here, again give a comma. And after that, we have the password. So let me just copy the pass variable and we'll paste it here. Then we are going to end this with a semicolon. So then we are going to declare one more variable, let's say dollar data equal to, we'll say my SQL I underscore query, then to first bracket, end it with the semicolon. So inside this MySQL query, first of all, we are going to mention the database connection which is dollar com. We are going to set here dollar com, give a comma, then we are going to mention this table query. Uh, that we want to approach some data to the student table. So we are going to mention this SQL because we keep those in this variable. So once you just write those, it means we'll be able to upload the data to the student table. If we now just set this, and if we now refresh here, and let's, let me just keep a username, random username, random email, random password, click on register. Okay, syntax error near Gmail. Okay, I think I got the error. The error is here. Yeah, I forgot to give the single quotation here. So let me just keep single quotation here and for the password as well. There you go. So let me save it. Let's go back. Uh, let me do the hash, then press enter. Let me give username again, then email, then password, click on register. And there you can see it is done. So right now, if we just click on this browse option, there you can see we have the name, email, and the password here. So we are able to successfully upload it to the database. But the thing is, we should show a message that data uploaded successfully. So for it, what we can do is that, here we are going to declare a if condition if we'll say dollar data. It means if this is true, dollar data is true, it means if our data is after is successfully, we are going to say here echo and let me just say script script opening then script closing and we are going to show a JavaScript alert. So we'll say here alert, let's say data uploaded successfully and let's also just give a else condition as well let's say else let me just copy this paste it here we'll say data not uploaded and let's end it with this semicolon and we need to keep single quotation not double quotation because outside we already have single but double quotation so let's keep a single quotation here so let's save this then let me use the hash from here, press enter. So let's give it username, let's say add on. Email will be uh, test, 
random password, click on register, and there you can see data for the successful. If you click OK, there you can see this entry. If you just refresh here, there you can see we have one more data here. And one more thing that is we should well show the password in the database. So we can do one thing that is we should hash the password. So in order to hash the password, for what we need to do is that here we are going to declare a variable, let's say dollar just random name dollar hash equal to we are going to say password underscore hash then we are going to mention this dollar pass here and it will be password underscore default and then here to stop dollar pass we are going to say dollar hash let me save it then let me use the hash on here Press enter and here I am going to say switch switch uh, at the rate of gmail.com and the random password click on register then you can see data for me successfully and uh, if we now just refresh here there you can see the password is file key passed so we are not able to see the password so this is how you can upload data to the database table, MySQL database table. In BHP, I hope this table is easy for you to follow. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I will proceed in the future tutorials.